All right, it's T and I'm back, Q&A, and it's West Coast Wolverine. I lost your, I lost the answer I just gave you. I don't know what happened to it. I want to answer you about this, like, strength thing you wrote me. Uh, I can't find it. I don't know where it is now. I don't know what section it is. I just wrote you back. But anyways, you were asking me something about lifting stones, this, that, these people, something. What kind of strength is this? Well, I told you before, uh, uh, um, ants can lift 10 times their weight. Why? Did they practice at lifting 10 times their weight? No. So it's based on muscular strength. Now, uh, uh, gorillas, they have the strength of 10 men. They can bench press 4,000. Did they have to practice at it? No. Tigers can pull 10 men with a rope in his mouth. He weighs about 750, can pull 10 men. Why? Did he practice at it? No. Why is that? Because it's based on muscular strength. So why can't you lift 500 pounds off the bat or do all these things that you're doing now off the bat because you had to practice at it but your body gave you a fake type of strength you didn't get more muscles what you got really truly was what you got was androgen receptor strength i can prove that see it's a fake type of strength it's temporary and why is that because your body's not really meant to build muscle it's really difficult to put it on it's almost impossible because you have to be carried through a famine you have to either be born with those muscles or not. Now, there are some people that have more muscle fibers than others. That's why they're able to lift things a lot easier without practicing and jumping and running faster than other people because they were born with it. They call them mesomorphs. You have ectomorphs, mesomorphs, and endomorphs. You understand me? That's the difference. But all these ectomorphs are trying to catch up with the mesomorphs, and it's you're not. They're always going to be stronger than you because they have more fiber count than you. It's really simple. So... What is giving you that fake strength that you're practicing at lifting something heavy off the floor and you're not, it's not based on muscles, muscles to lift 500 pounds. How did you get there? You had to practice myositic energy receptor controls that strength, but not the mass of the limb muscles. Do you understand me? It doesn't control that. So that myositic energy receptor controls that strength, that force production. Now, when you lift something heavy, your body gives you more of these receptors for the androgens to bind to them giving you more force produced. Now, what happens when, when the AR is di diminished? Well, you can read it here, it tells you. It says that, um, importantly, we also show that androgen receptor deficiency in limb myocytes impairs myofibular organization of sarcomeres and decreases muscular strength. So how does this muscular st strength get decreased? Well, because there's a deficiency in AR, get it? Thus demonstrating that myositic androgen receptors control key pathways required for maximum force production. That's how I know. It's fake, you understand me? Because you can't feel it or touch it. It doesn't, it's molecules, it's a receptor. You can't really see it. It's, it's molecular, it's, nucle it's nuclear, they call it, this nuclear family. It's part of the nuclear family, get it? Yeah. You can't see it or touch it or feel it. It's there, it's there, but they can go away really quickly. Within 10 days, if you leave the gym, they disappear. So yeah, so that's what I'm trying to explain to people on the, uh, I'm just telling them, look, I'm just telling them the truth. <laughs> you could call it whatever you want. You can believe that lifting something heavy, you got stronger, but now you go away and see if you can lift that again. Because I don't know a lot of people that say they came to the gym yesterday, they were able to squat 400, today they can barely 200. Why is that? Because it's based on myositic androgen receptor strength. It isn't based on muscular strength. You have to prove that you actually gained some muscle. Prove it. You see, it's really difficult to prove that you gained muscle. You'd have to completely dry it out. You wouldn't be eating a herbivore diet. You'd have to be on your natural carnivore diet to see what you really have there. See what I mean? And it's really difficult to see that. You'd have to drain the water, the glycogen, and everything. Yeah, meat doesn't have glycogen in it. Herbivore diets do. Sugar does. Your mother, your muscle can uh, hold a lot of artificial muscle growth called sarcoplasmic muscles. Plus, they get inflamed from chronic lifting. So that's another fake, too. The chronic lifting fakes the muscles, fake muscles through infl inflammatory response. And sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, which is fake, too. It really, really is really hard to put on muscle. I'm not saying some people may be getting some damage and they may be going through a parenting remodeling, but again, that protein 
synthesis needs to exceed that breakdown. If it's not, you're going to get an apoptosis of that fiber and you're actually going to start losing fibers and then you can't figure out what's wrong with you. You'll notice, you'll notice it too, kind of, because you'll get muscularly weaker, like physically muscularly weaker, which can be a very bad thing. Now, being chronically inflamed and lifting, it'll weaken you over time. When you get older, you'll be extremely weak as an older person. You may need a walker, a chair, canes, or whatever. Many factory workers, it happens to them, working labor jobs, they're just so diminished at this point. They can't do shit. So yeah, man, that's, that's just my answer to that. I mean, you, anybody could believe whatever they want, but that doesn't mean it's true. You understand me? Just because somebody believes in something doesn't mean it's true. You have to truly look at the facts, which what is this strength that you're looking for? Are you trying to build muscular strength on your body? Are you trying to get stronger than your natural muscular strength yourself naturally? So those weights feel lighter? Or are you busy practicing and lifting at weight with low reps, trying to get myositic androgen receptors for that force, for that maximum force production? See the difference? And proliferating these motor units through the fibers. Yeah, that's the difference, man. You have to practice at anything to be good at anything in this world. You can't, you can't be good at anything if you don't practice. Nobody who went to a gym was ever good at lifting or could lift a heavy weight or was good at lifting, lifting like a really heavy weight, extraordinarily heavy, or was ever good at lifting anything in the gym. They had to practice at it. You understand me? But animals that run on all fours don't have to practice running. They're able just to run fast. For a human, it's taxing. They got to run on two feet. It's really hard. It's stressful. They hate it. And as far as lifting anything heavy, we always made animals do our work for us. We got big, strong animals and we just put them to work and pull wagons and do our work for us. Most of the work on the farm and everything. Yeah, because we're small. We're weak. We're weak and small. Humans are weak and small. And they get exhausted fast and they hate, they hate exerting themselves, if anything. They hate real labor jobs, humans. They can't stand it because your body's not made for that. But you're pushing it beyond what it could do. And that's why you're destroying it faster than the last time. Get it, man? I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, man. Tell me what you think about that. Ciao.